you know, make sure it's recording. Okay, this recording. So my printer's decided to do something. Hold on a sec. That's a background noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at least your printer does something. Mine has just gone by. I didn't print anything. Can you stop? I'm trying to do an interview. Okay. Oh, right. yeah. Pro probably your kids. Yeah, that's the, that's the moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, ready? So, yeah. I'm waiting when you're ready. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Okay. So, Sandra, lovely to see you again. Love to see you. And you've had your jab. So, uh, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about that, if I may. So just can you describe in your own words how it feels now you've had that jab? I feel really good about that because it was amazing. I have never expected that I'm going to be that much calm. And uh, it's crazy that I didn't, even, I didn't even feel it because I was not focusing on it. On it. I was focusing on totally different things. I was like, uh, like you told me like, you know, you can do this and like have saliva in your mouth. And I was totally into doing that. So my brain just diverted there instead of being uh, focusing on the needle itself. So yeah, it was amazing. Oh, good. So um, how's it been for you say emotionally given that you're pregnant and you can have blood tests, et cetera now? I think it's much easier for me to to have blood tests now because I think that it changed the the perspective I had before and after I got like session from you like how to cope up with that I think that really worked and I think I'm I'm prepared for the next time if it's going to happen I'm going to be calm That's great to know so in terms of an emotional journey on the whole, you know, the first time I met you, and I've only spoken to you a couple of times before therapy, um, obviously you're, you're really scared about this, you know, you're a mother, you need to get blood tests. And, and throughout your life, you've had, you know, this sort of slightly uh, mocking or sort of, you know, teasing aspect of it. And you're thinking, oh no, and I'm just been, and then suddenly you go here, now it's changed everything. So it's been quite a journey for you emotionally as well, hasn't it? Oh yes, so. yes, yes, it is. But I think that it was, it's a blessing. I think that my mother-in-law introduced me to you and then it changed all of a sudden. My world changed actually, that was crazy. I thought I'm going to cry beforehand, but then I just focused on what you told me and I was like rethinking about that all the time. And it's amazing. Right. So can you actually talk me through um, the day of the jab? So how, how did you feel say the night before then waking up and on the way to the hospital? I was calm uh, the night before, but when I uh, went inside the, the uh, place where we we're going to have vaccination, it was a little bit, I was like, mom, I'm a little bit nervous. You know, it's, it's, it's just like, you know, building up inside. But after that, mom was like, you know what? It's going to be fine. Just, just calm down. And then I started to remember like, you know, what you told me. And then everything went so smooth and I was really happy with that. Right. So even when you went into the room and then you sat on the chair, do you remember? Yeah, no, I, yeah. I have no fear at all. Like literally I have. Yeah. Like I was like, I was so calm. I was so chill. I was like, okay, I can do it. I'm going to get over it. And it happened and it was perfect. Right. Re really good to hear. So now let's talk about you know, the celebration side as well. So I've seen the video of you having the jab. And then it comes out. And how do you feel after? It's like, oh, I just had my jab. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's, immediately that's, afterwards, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was like, I have never had that feeling ever in my 26 years. I, I think that it was something great. Like having, I, I think that I overcome that, that fear of having needle, I think. Yeah. Well, it certainly looks like it. So yeah. how do you think this therapy has not only helped you with needles, but say your general outlook with things about anxiety in general? I think it really had a lot of uh, positive things on the other things also. But now I think that if I can do this, 
if I have other fears of things, certain things, I can get over them also. So that's that's something really helpful. Yeah, swimming, driving, which I'm going to be doing soon. So it's just like, I can do it. I can do it without having the fear that it's going, it might go wrong, of course, but still I can manage it and I can like, you know, put myself together and just go through that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and now, of course, it's, it may change your relationship a little bit with your baby, because instead of like, I love my baby, but oh no, I've got to have this jab and this jab and vitamin B and this. Yeah. How's that change your relationship in that sense? I think it's, it's going to be easier for me, for my future also. So I, I'm, I'm prepared, I think. Mentally, I'm, I'm, I'm more powerful in a way that I can, I can go through that. I can see it. And I'm happy with the change. Right. And, and now you can also really look forward to being a mother with all that goes with it, without the, I really like being a mother, but there's this part to it that scares me or puts me off or distracts me. And I can, yeah. like, I can just enjoy my time with my baby and whatever I need to do, I need to do. Yeah, that's true. So um, could, could you say that a little bit in your own words? Um, just if you, you know, repeat it back to me a bit, like you can just focus on and not be distracted by that because they don't want to, they'll cut out my voice. They'll oh. do more your voice. Yeah. Yeah. I think that getting over something and uh, the fear you have is really uh, important for your life because it's not only one person who's going to be affected. But I think the people who love you and are around you, they also get affected with that. And having, I'm like a mom to be soon. So it's going, it's, it's going to be crazy a little bit for me to accept a lot of other fears. But on, at the same time, I know that I'm going to cope up with that, focus on the positive thing rather than just letting my fear come over me. And like, you know, saying that, oh, you cannot do it, but I think I can do it because my brain is my boss. Exactly. That's what you told me. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I was thinking the same, that, you know, my brain is my boss and I can do whatever I want to do. So with baby also, I think I'm going to do fine. Uh, and I, I believe you will. Tell me a little bit about your husband, Frederick. So, you know, in the past, he was sort of teasing you like, oh, you know, you're such a drama queen or something like that. And then, um, you know, how, how did you break the news to him um, after, the, after you had the injection? Oh, he was really, really proud of me, actually. He, I was like, baby, I didn't even cry. And he was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. You did amazing. Because, uh, I mean, like, he doesn't have that much experience with me mm. because my mother-in-law always goes with me. So... Uh, I think, but he was really, he was happy with me that I have like finally, like, you know, overcome with the fear and I'm, I'm doing well with that. So he doesn't have to be worried about that either. Right. And do you think he is a little bit more understanding and empathetic about what you're going through? You weren't just being silly or something, but this was a proper fear and you did want to have injections. It wasn't, there was just this block in the way. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Okay, so um, it'd be interesting how, how he relates to you and becomes more understanding. Um, yeah. Okay, and so in a moment, I'm going to ask Colette to give her opinion because she knows you a little bit more. Okay. All these things. So, no, but just before I do, just before we start, oh. is there anything else uh, for you that you think um, you'd like to say about it? Anything at all? Anything? I think uh, for my due date, I, I, would, I would suggest, like I was suggesting to myself that, you know, normal delivery or epidural mm. it's always there in your mind you know when you're pregnant so i was suggested by my husband and my mother-in-law so that you don't if you cannot go through normal birth you can also have like the option of epidural which they which is also part of needle you know i was scared that you know that's needle and all that stuff but now it's just like i start to realize that you know if i can do this and if i want to have birth with epidural that can also be in my options, you know? So that's great. That's, that's, that's satisfying for me that, you know, if I don't want to go through labor, like the normal one, then I can also go to, with the epidural one. So yeah. that's really important for me. Oh, that's so good. That, yeah, yeah, definitely have another option like that. That's yeah. open yeah. to you. 
So that's been wonderful. So, uh, you know, I really want to thank you for sharing your story with us because it is a, a great inspiration to a lot of people in a similar situation. And um, I, I will be asking for updates from you yes. and Colette. So all the very best with your pregnancy and everything, Sandra. We'd love some pictures um, later. So thank you very much. Well, thank you. And thank you that you helped me. Oh, pleasure. It's really, I mean, you're, you're a great candidate. You know, I mean, everything just went by the book. Everyone's thinking, oh, you know, I'll see Felix. They'll be totally pain-free and nothing. So it's not exactly always like that. <laughs> well, there we go. So wonderful. So thank you very much. Um, Colette, can I have a little interview with you? You, you can still be there, Sandra, in case you want to add something if you want. <laughs> Great. Okay. Right. So, hello, Colette. So, you're Sandra's mother-in-law. I am. Case, that's not clear. So, um, <laughs> tell me a little bit. You seem very close with with Sandra. Uh, you're taking her for a lot. Tell me how close you are in your relationship. Uh, I think. Um, well, I haven't. I've only got boys. So, I was very lucky. I had five years. Five years ago, I had my first twin getting married. So, I had one girl, and um, she lived for a while with me, and then. A couple of years ago, I got my second girl, which I'm really, really, really happy with. And she's living upstairs because in Holland, there's a shortage of homes. Mm. So uh, she's living upstairs. So we meet every day and um, she cooks fantastically. Mm -hmm. And uh, so she's, she's, she's absolutely wonderful. And she's a happy, happy, happy girl. Right. So you've known Sandra, obviously, for a while. When were you first aware of this, the needle problem, would you say? <laughs> um, that was the first time that my uh, my eldest said to mum, can you go with uh, Sandra to the um, consultation bureau, which is something you have to do. So I said, uh, why? I said, why can't you go? I mean, that's your job as a, as a father and stuff like that. So he said, well, um, it's a bit complicated <laughs> because she's... Um, um, well, she gets all of a sudden a bit nervous, <clears throat> and I know my son, and I know if he's saying it really careful like that, it's a lot worse than what we actually <laughs> think. So uh, I said, so how much, uh, how nervous does she get? Well, she starts to how, uh, more or less <laughs> cry, <laughs> and then afterwards she, uh, she completely goes rigid, and then uh, they have to do it either second or third time. So could you perhaps uh, go with her and she might stay a lot calmer and uh, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, oh gosh, yeah, this, this is my job. And, um, um, but um, I like it to bits. So uh, I, uh, I said, uh, yeah, of course I will. And uh, we went <laughs> and it was, um, I thought I could um, uh, calm her down by having a look in my eyes, by talking through her and stuff like that. And it didn't work. <laughs> because she just went completely rigid <laughs> and she just was um uh she was just um um she she wouldn't dare to cry because she would she just thought it was it offensive to me which she isn't and um but she um she went completely rigid and they had to actually plunge in a second needle because they couldn't get enough blood blood out in the first half which actually makes it worse and actually confirms every, every fear she has about uh imagine <laughs> <laughs> about the needles yeah so that was a, 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 quite a disaster yeah it's obviously the freeze response but when you freeze your muscles are tense and that means it's harder to get in it's more painful the blood flow is restricted yeah as you said it makes it worse so you you had an experience with Sandra being like oh okay so she has this problem with needles yeah and then I, I don't know how many times you've been with her for some kind of shot Four or five times. More than that. Oh, even more than that. Yeah. So, <laughs> Four or five yeah, times. More six, than seven, that. eight times something. And you were seeing the same pattern, the sort of, you know, crying, the freezing. Yeah, and here I was thinking I was quite a competent mother-in-law and looking after her and talking to her. And, and, you know, normally we get through everything together. It's quite easy, but mm -mm, not on this point. Well, I'm, I feel very competent, but, you know, phobias are their own thing. You know, they need a very specific approach sometimes. It just, you know, just hold my hand, you'll be fine. It's kind of not. No, 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 that's not going to work. <laughs> you need the proper method. Yep. So, yep. Um, and what was it like for you? Because you've shared Sandra's journey as well, from scared person to somebody who's like, I didn't feel it, it's amazing. I mean, what's it like for you to... Well, it's, it's weird, you see, because... Um, I haven't got it. I mean, I, I, for me, 
going into into things into into operations even i just i just don't think i just wait whatever comes and then you know i'm, I'm a very much a person who sees whatever comes up and uh, then seeing my daughter-in-law already tensing up even before she steps into the car <laughs> going <clears throat> uh, trying to sort of um, uh, wiggle her way out of it which she can't and then and then turning up there and then going from a very competent and lovely young lady to uh, almost um, a bit of a blubbering lot. Mm -hmm. So that was that was quite um, a, a weird experience. And uh, and if you've done it a few times, you, if you if she knows there's no injection involved, but she just goes and have a look at the baby and stuff like that, it's it's all right. There's no problem whatsoever. But the moment there's uh, the word needle involved or the subject needle involved, <laughs> she gets goes into um, Panic mode. <laughs> Complete panic mode. So um, we went, uh, we actually, it was quite funny because we were a bit late yeah. to go to the appointment. So uh, we're looking all over the place and uh, it's quite a big building and you have to go left and right and whatever. We're not very good at that. So we <laughs> went all over the place. And then in the end we found it. And so I I, I, I went in and I said, um, vaccination, you know, and um, whooping cough and, and, and is it now? And she said, oh, I was waiting you. Dutch are very strict on time. <laughs> so um, I said, yes. And I thought, um, let's have a look how this works out. So um, <laughs> she had to answer all kinds of questions. And I noticed that she was so much calmer. I mean, she was mm. like she wouldn't be normally when there's no needles involved, mm. which was really, really nice. And I didn't have to ask to look at me and, and stuff like that. And so the lady, I, we told the lady that um, we actually um, had some hypnosis done and uh, it was going to be totally different. So the lady said, oh, you can actually do that. And she was really interested. Yeah. And um, so she said, well, she said, um, it's, uh, it's going to be um, a little injection. <laughs> And uh, they always say that, I love that little injection come out with this. And then, uh, so um, she, um, she had the injection and then, and then we're still, I'm still waiting for the injection, like what's going on. <laughs> and she already, and she, the lady looks at me and she said, she's already done. Hmm. And I'm still going, oh, I see. Hmm. So that was really, really funny. Yeah. Because uh, you don't catch on so quick. That's true. You're filming it, but you're not looking at it. It's really, um, yeah, it's quite, quite interesting. Yeah. It just happened. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then she sort of, um, she almost, um, she walks out and she goes like, ha, 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 ha. So that was, like, you know, that was really, really good. That made me really happy for her because it is awkward. Because if you if you can't have injections, you can't have transfusions, you can't have vaccinations, and 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 if you're not careful, you actually put the same fear you have into your child. Yeah. Correct. So that's I had I had already said. Well, you know, if, if your child needs vaccinations. I will take it, not you, because I'm not going to have um, my grandchild, you know, behaving the same way as you are. So instead, now she can do her own things. Ha! Ah, that will free me. Yeah, and and now and now you think, um, Sandra, you know, if I want to learn to swim or ride a bike or drive a car, same thing, if not yeah. easier, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So that's wonderful. So, uh, look, I'm 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 a psychologist, not a TV person. I assume this is okay. They may say, oh, Sandra, that thing you said was really good. Could you also say this and this? You know, some of the stuff Colette has said, oh, can you can you to say how you froze up and how you uh, uh, cried? So I don't know. There might be one very, very last time, but I, I, I don't know. I, for me, no I think it sounds great, but. That's a problem. No problem. I hope that's okay. So yeah. let's stop the recording.